This footage of the Prime Minister walking on the beautiful white beaches of Lakshadweep is intended to attract tourists to this less explored destination. The Prime Minister's video is solely for promoting tourism, much like his efforts in Meghalaya a few years ago. An unknown village, Molinong, gained prominence when the Prime Minister mentioned it in Monkey Bar. Now, it has become a mainstream tourist destination. However, there is something more to it. The Prime Minister promoting Lakshadweep as a travel spot might be seen as a response to the popularity of the Maldives among Indian tourists. The Maldives, with around 1,200 islands, is a well-known beach destination. However, concerns have arisen about the Maldives leaning towards China, leading to worries about a less friendly stance towards India. The Maldives perceived this visit as a direct threat to its tourism industry since a significant number of its tourists come from India. There was concern that the Indian government might be shifting its focus to promote Lakshadweep instead of the Maldives, potentially causing significant harm to the Maldivian economy. The fact is, the Prime Minister's support for Lakshadweep as a tourist spot aligns with his call for choosing Indian locations for weddings and tourism. In November of last year, he questioned the trend of having weddings abroad, especially among big families, and encouraged people to hold such events within the country under the Wed in India initiative. However, some Maldivian ministers perceived this as a serious threat and made derogatory comments against India on social media. The post by Mariam Shina now deleted, included pictures of PM Modi during his recent visit to Lakshadweep. The Deputy Minister of Youth Empowerment Information and Arts referred to the Indian Prime Minister as a clown and a puppet of his reign. Such surprising for me, why should Maldives, uh, uh, you know, say something about what is going to happen in election week and whatever our Honourable Prime Minister have uh, spoke on, uh, you know, future scope for tourism development in election week. I still surprised why such a comments have come from the Deputy Prime Minister and Ministers of Maldives. As an important person like VVIP, when the Honorable Prime Minister came to Lakshmi, he stayed there for one day. He stayed in a uh, you know, most beautiful island called Bangara. Then he went into the water. You have seen the underwater things. And he made himself, uh, you know, uh, as an ambassador of Lakshmi, being a territory which is directly under his control and he says something you know which entire uh, uh, people of Lakshadweep was always wanted to have on tourism perspective when me this is my second term I was always wanting this government to have a policy in the tourism things and things to happen uh, because that will definitely generate an uh, employment opportunity for the youngsters. In a damage control move, the Maldivian Foreign Ministry issued a statement on Sunday acknowledging the derogatory remarks on social media platforms against foreign leaders and high-ranking individuals. The statement clarified that these opinions are personal and do not represent the views of the government of Maldives. The local media quoted Ibrahim Kali, spokesperson for the Maldives government, stating, all government officials responsible for the comments have been immediately suspended from their positions. But it might be too late, Indians have initiated a boycott Maldives campaign on social media. People are cancelling their upcoming trips to the Maldives. The movement gained momentum when CEO of Easy My Trip joined the protest. In a significant move amid the online boycott Maldives campaign, Easy My Trip has decided to suspend all Maldives flight bookings following the derogatory remarks. So, is this a surgical strike on the Maldives, opposing its pro-China stance? Has India succeeded? Various media outlets can highlight the recent incident in their preferred manner or tone, but this was not India's agenda. Some politicians from Maldives are portraying it in that way.
Looking at the bigger picture, the issue isn't whether the Maldives is harmed or not. The most significant outcome to discuss is that Lakshadweep has finally gained the attention it deserves. I have seen a lot many tweets uh, even Salman Khan, Sachin Tendulkar, uh, Hathik Pante, all such you know, uh, you know, good celebrities. They are all coming and advocating for Lakshadweep. It's a very good uh, you know sign, and I'm very happy as a part of as a member of Pali from my uh, Lakshadweep. I am exchanging thanks for them. that uh, they are all uh, you know uh, promoting lakshadweep and lakshadweep tourism for it to transform lakshadweep into a thriving tourist destination without compromising its delicate ecosystem several key factors must be considered beyond its scenic beauty affordability is crucial to attract a diverse range of visitors vibrant festivals historical landmarks and local customs can add a rich cultural dimension to the beach experience making it more appealing to travelers in addition to the beaches lakshadweep should offer a spectrum of adventure activities such as water sports trekking and exploring lush landscapes this diverse range caters to the preferences of travelers seeking both relaxation and adventure A well-rounded tourist experience should include opportunities for visitors to enjoy lively bars, nightclubs, and cultural performances, creating a balanced blend of leisure and entertainment after a day of beach relaxation. For ease of exploration, a well-connected transportation system is essential, enabling travelers to seamlessly navigate different parts of the country, from bustling cities to serene beach destinations like Lakshadweep. Critical to this development is the establishment of a robust tourism infrastructure with resorts, hotels, and services tailored to various preferences. This ensures that travel is not only convenient but also enjoyable for all visitors. In summary, to foster Lakshadweep as a sustainable tourism destination, it is imperative to focus on affordability, cultural enrichment, a variety of adventure activities, vibrant entertainment options, efficient transportation, and a well-established tourism infrastructure. All these considerations are vital for promoting tourism while safeguarding the unique and fragile ecosystem of Lakshadweep. Lakshadweep ki sundarta ko शब्दों में समेटना बहुत मुश्किल है जो लोग दुनिया के अलग अलग देशों के द्वीपों को देखने जाना चाहते हैं वहाँ के समंदर से अभिभूत है उनसे मेरा आग्रह है कि वो पहले लक्ष्य द्वीप आकर जरूर देखें।